is IPv6 update number 39 brought to you by Hurricane Electric. A few months back, Jeff Huston with AppNEC blogged about an IPv6 hint that had to do with the maximum transmission unit, or MTU, and dual stacking. We'd like to share that hint with you. MTU is the size and bytes of the largest protocol data unit that a layer can pass onward. This is usually in association with a communications interface like a serial port. In general, a larger MTU means greater efficiency since a packet can carry more user data while the headers remain fixed. For dual stack servers, however, MTU parameters can be especially important. This is because of the risk of service failure. Service failure is one reason why so many web server systems are reluctant to be configured as dual stack v4 and v6 servers. No one wants their potential customer to get stuck staring at a white screen, and no end user wants to continually see the loading symbol while trying to download content over v6. But how are the MTU and packet size connected to dual stack service failure? Let's remember that nearly 50% of end systems running IPv6 use auto tunneling, so it's important to pay attention to how tunnels affect packets. An IPv6 tunnel adds an additional 20 bytes to a packet for an IPv4 header, 24 bytes for a GRE tunnel header, or 40 bytes for a UDP based v4 header. Per RFC 2460, every IPv6 destination must be able to reassemble a fragmented IPv6 datagram up to 1500 bytes in length. For our IPv6 packet going through a basic protocol 41 tunnel, it must be 1480 bytes or smaller because the tunnel will add 20 octets to the packet header. If it's too large, then the packet is discarded and an ICMPv6 packet 2 big message is sent back to the v6 source address. If the ICMPv6 message makes it back to the source, then we're good. It will trigger the local TCP instance to use a smaller MTU and the packet will go through the next time. If, however, at any point along the way ICMP filtering exists, then the packet too big message will get lost. This might happen at a point not under the control of the source or destination, and then the packet is not retransmitted and service failure results. So what does Jeff Huston recommend? Well, if you want to avoid all forms of path MTU packet fragmentation, the answer is to use an interface MTU equal to the minimum IPv6 packet size, 1280 octets. This advice would apply to clients using dual stack services as well as dual stack web servers themselves.